Yeah. Right, so the, the singularity is highly defined by the pre-singularity. And if that pre-singularity is based on the narrow AIs, which maybe lead to people in power grabbing more power, marginalizing billions, I might argue, Ben, that the people in America on UBI, okay, technically on paper, they might be in a better situation than the ones in Africa, but they got their own problems to deal with as well. Um, but that, even that period that could be a couple of years might permanently define the singularity, which is potentially with us forever. Well, it's with us forever, right? Uh, so it's very well, crucial. It's, it's with, it, whether it's with us forever depends right. on whether we survive. <laughs> right, right. It's yeah. there forever. Well, it's, it's yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah, no, I, th I think that's a reasonable hypothesis. I mean, we, we certainly don't know because it, it could be the case that there's a sort of, mind detractor of post-human engineered minds right so that sort of no matter how you build the the agi once it comes into its own it's just going to see some sort of universal truths of how to be a superhuman mind and will just converge to some condition without that much dependence on the initial initial condition so that, that that's that's possible but I think it would be it would be rash to assume that, right? I mean, it seems a reasonable working hypothesis that, as with a human child, the way you raise it will have a significant bias to to what sort of mind it it it, it grows up to be. You know, Ben. Last time you were here, you said two statements, and it's in the the trailer that's on the front of your episode, and I've been playing it lately to a lot of my students, and. I, I told them I would ask you if you might have revised your answers. So the last time you were here, you sat in the leather chair opposite me and you said, Brian, by 2029, which would have been, by the way, 10 years after you were here, because you were here in 19, you said, we yeah. will see computers as intelligent as humans. And by 2045, much, much more intelligent than humans. Well, that, that, that's, Ray, that's Ray Kurzweil's estimate from right. the singular, his book, The Singularity is Near, actually. Okay, yeah. all right. I thought it was around 2030, so around 2029, 2030. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ba based on what we've seen progress in the last three and a half years, would you revise those numbers down? Um, so those numbers came from Ray Kurzweil, and I've always had a disagreement with Ray about the second of those numbers, because I, I felt that if we got human level AGI in 2029, I don't think it's going to take to 2045 to get a full on singularity with massively superhuman AGI. I mean, the, the only way it takes that long is if the AGI itself decides it prefers to take a leisurely pace to, to self evolve. I mean, other than that, it's at most, a few years to get to superhuman AGI. And the reason it might be a few years is if the AGI decides it needs fundamentally new type of chips or hardware to upgrade its intelligence. It, it designs those chips and then, it, you know, mining and making robots and new chip fabs just take, takes a couple of years, right? But that, but even in the case that there's new hardware required to get from AGI to superhuman AGI, that's years. I, I I don't think it's sixteen years. It, it, it's it's a it's a few years, right? And, and it might it might well be that once you have a human level AGI, it just figures out how to refactor its software in a way that multiplies its intelligence by a hundred, and you get from human level AGI to superhuman AGI in like two months or something, right? I think or, that's or, also possible. or two weeks so or I, two days or two minutes. Could be, yeah. So I mean, so I I don't I don't think that sixteen year gap is likely to happen the only way it could happen is if the agi just decides it wants to take it slowly out of conservatism because it wants to minimize the risk of revising its own brain in a bad way and that that's not impossible i mean if if i if i could revise my own brain to change my way of thinking and feeling i wouldn't necessarily do it in the fastest possible way, right? Like I might make some small changes, see how they work out for me, and then 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 make then make make some more changes. And so I mean, All right. what about the twenty? Possible. What about the twenty twenty nine number? So that that was always intended as a, a average of a, a distribution, and 
I I think yeah, if if anything I would have revised it down by by a couple years from there based on what I see happening in the in the AI space now. So if I if I look at my own AGI project, uh OpenCog Hyperon, which is the the technology project in my sort of singularity net ecosystem of, of of AI projects, which is focused on generalization and and ab- abstract cognition, right? So if if I, if I look at that project, I would say if everything goes really well, as 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 we're hoping, could we be Three years from having a human level AGI, I would, I would, I would say we could be. So I, I would say you could be there in twenty twenty six or or something like that. Is is quite quite plausible. I mean, it really, it really depends on how much effort humanity puts into achieving AGI. Right. I mean, I think if if the OpenCog Hyperon project and the company True AGI that SingularityNet has spun off to host OpenCog Hyperon and the SingularityNet decentralized platform. I mean, if if this, I, I think, I mean, this is a very self centered thing th- thing thing to say, but that's uh, that's uh, that's how it goes as an entrepreneur, right? I mean, I think if if these particular AGI projects had open AI's level of funding, we could probably be there by by 2026. And we're trying to we're trying to get there with a not trivial but significantly less degree of funding, which means means progress is not not quite as fast. So Jim Rickards has just recorded a video that's not available to anyone in the public and he's going to be talking about how this upcoming recession is going to be fast, it's going to be bloody, it's going to be nasty. But at the same time He's going to show you how you can position yourself to profit from all of this chaos. Now, we've made this video only available to our viewers. Go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim. Watch that immediately. I can't say enough good things about Jim Rickards. He understands the global economic system better than any guest I've ever had on London Real. His predictions are almost uncannily true. And you can learn how to profit from his vision, from his expertise, and his understanding of economics. So go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim or click the link below. It's an excellent, excellent look on what's going to happen in the future and how you can position yourself to profit from that. Jim is one of the best in the business, one of my favorite guests on London Real, and he's very, very good at predicting the future and showing us all to profit from it. So click the link and I hope you enjoy. I'm looking for partners, collaborators, colleagues who want to join forces with me around the globe and create real value, generational wealth, and financial freedom for everyone else around the world. Get involved in the cryptocurrency markets. Get involved in the NFT markets. This is your moment. Life all comes down to a few moments. Don't let this pass. Now it's not too late. Next year is going to be too late. Ultimately, this is about freedom. That's the way I see it. This is about giving power back to the people and enabling billions of people worldwide to use the financial markets to improve their lives and those of their friends and their families and their communities. Honestly, I think it's a violation of human rights not to allow people basic access to financial services. Because right now people are being kept in the dark, they're being robbed of education, and it's a travesty. And so I'm looking for people that wanna join me and be a part of this solution. And that all happens inside the DeFi Academy. The gains my students are making are absolutely amazing. Double, triple digit gains in the first month alone. That's amazing. This will change your life. Now is the time to get involved. I'm gonna tell you exactly how my students in my academy made money in the last 30 days. I'm talking about real trading results. And let me just whet your appetite a little bit. Let me hit you with some numbers. I'm talking Brendan from New Zealand is up 68.77% on the month. Steve from Europe up 83%. 
Albert in Singapore up 169.9% on one single trade. I got Susan up 153% on her call options alone. Also rocking 139% returns and 442% returns as well on individual trades. These are people that are changing their financial future in the last 30 days, but it's based on trading discipline. I've graduated over 500 students from inside my academy from over 54 countries around the world. It's amazing. When it comes to crypto, DeFi, and blockchain, we love this space. We truly believe it's the future. This is down to our core. It's authentic to what we're doing, and everybody can tell through the camera because you can't make this stuff up. If you're watching me now, wherever you are, I implore you, take 60 seconds right now and join my academy. Apply today. Now you've got a chance. Life all comes down to a few moments. What are you gonna do? What's the choice that you're going to make?